www.goodwill.com and this box is from Little, Little Rock, Arkansas. So thanks for joining me today. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here and I want to thank those of you that are subscribing to the channel. The channel is starting to grow and get more views. Um, so that's really nice to see. Um, I mean, it's really nice for me to see that people are watching the videos that I'm making. So that's been a lot of fun for me. Um, and I do want to take a minute and say for those people that are connected to Florida in some way, whether you have a home down there or a loved one has a home down there, I sure hope everyone is okay. And uh, getting through this as best as they can. So our thoughts are, are definitely with you. I know it's not, not easy. So first look, this is the box. This is what we have. Um, again, this is not a blue box. This is just from shopgoodwill.com. So let's see what we have inside. I remember when I purchased this option, I thought it looks like a lot of necklaces, but, but you never know. Um, okay, so we have kind of a, a wood bead necklace with a wood uh, pendant. And let's see here. Is this part of it too? Yeah, yeah. So it's wood and uh, kind of glass bead pendant. Let's see what the uh, drop on this is. The drop on this is not a lot. <laughs> oh, let's see. Maybe I could line it up a little, a little better here. Yeah, I mean, it's eight inches at most. So if anybody would like this wood bead necklace, it does need a little bit of cleaning, but otherwise it's in good shape. Uh, if anybody would like this, <clears throat> that'll be four dollars. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have this kind of um, green, light green, sea foam, sea foam green, I would say. Statement necklace. Oh, just knocked over my my large mannequin because I've got to put it on the large one because this is this is quite a necklace I kind of like it now these beads <clears throat> this is just the light that you see it's there's no damage to these beads and from what I can tell all the beads are there Okay, so let's take a closer look. The uh, clasp is a lobster clasp. It does have a tag that says Mika, M-I-K-A, Mika, which I think is really kind of funny because that's the nickname my mom had for me when I was a kid. Hi, mom. That's you sending a little hello. <laughs> so really pretty, really pretty. Like I said, to me, it looks like a seafoam green. And let's take a peek and see, see what the drop is on this. Okay, I'm a little tingled here. There we go. <clears throat> so the drop is, about eight and a half inches. And then we have an extender that is, let's just call it three inches, three inches. So this is a fun necklace, uh, kind of has summery vibes or, 
you know, trip to the tropics kind of vibes. If anybody would like this, this will be $7. Okay, then we have, let's see what we have here. It's a little tangled. Okay, here we go. So we have a <clears throat> multi-strand necklace. Let me get it on one of my mannequins here. I think it'll go on the larger mannequin too. And I'm trying to coordinate these strands here. And I'm not doing a great job of it. <laughs> Let's see. I think these two have to go above the other two. Okay, <clears throat> what I think is going on <clears throat> is the clasp is <clears throat> needs to be turned around. Um, I think the way it's put together in the back makes this side twist opposite. <clears throat> but it's got three strands. Um, this is a really pretty strand. It, it kind of looks like marble. It's not marble, but it has that appearance. And then these, I think, are just plastic beads and some wooden beads. And these feel like plastic beads. So it's gold tone on the chain. And see what the drop is on this. Okay, so the drop is about 10 inches. So if anybody would like this pretty necklace, um, that'll be $7. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have another necklace, beaded necklace with uh, green green and kind of light light blue again that sort of sea foam blue and then it kind of transitions into this um almost turquoisey like color all right let's get this on my mannequin and maybe i can do it so that it's not all tangled. Okay, I think I got it. That's pretty. Oof, let me not twist the camera around. Sorry about that. I went into my usual vertical mode like I do in regular life. Um, so really nice nice beaded necklace you have a lobster clasp gold tone now just telling you that these kind of seafoam green ones they are sometimes more whitish and sometimes more greenish and it doesn't look like that's where it looks like that was on purpose because even with these kind of turquoisey ones, it it has that, it's like trying to make a transition to the solid color. So I think that's what's going on here. And it kind of has this ombre effect. So if anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $6. Okay. What do we have here? We have, well, I'm not crazy about how this ribbon looks. It's kind of all tattered. And these are wood beads, and there's a lot of them. So there's a lot of, a lot of wood beads here. Um, if anybody wants it just for the beads, so a dollar for the beads. 
Okay, and then we have a similar one, but this one is in good shape. So I like these beads. They seem to be wood to me, but they kind of look plastic also. Let's see. Maybe maybe we can hear it. Oh, maybe they're plastic. Made to look like wood. And the chain is silver tone. The drop is, let's say, nine inches. And they're kind of nine, nine and a half with the uh, extender. So let's put this on my smaller mannequin. And that's kind of how that looks. So I think that looks really, really nice. Great for autumn colors. So if anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $4. Okay, then we have, I love this color. This looks a little more olive, olive-like to me than it, <clears throat> than it does on the camera, but it's not that far from what you see on the camera. These are heavy. These are heavy beads. And we have a fold-over clasp, a really nice clasp. This looks and feels like it's in new condition. I don't hear the snap, but it's definitely holding. And these are <clears throat> these are tied in between the beads. Oops, put that on the mannequin too. I like this. And it can easily be doubled up. So if we doubled it up, this is what that would look like, you know, something like that. I think that's really pretty, and that's a really beautiful color, just a gorgeous color. It's in like new condition, Let's see there is a tag, let me get my glasses, <laughs> let me get my glasses on. Let's see what this tag says. Okay. Kisaka. I've never heard of that. Kisaka. Don't know. Don't know that brand. But these are beautiful. And like I said, they have good weight to them. I'm not sure if they're glass or not. They're probably not glass. So if anybody would like this one, $7 for this one. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have a sparkly rhinestone pearl necklace. Ooh, look at this. What did they do here? Oh, they just didn't bother to go through the hoop, that's all. Okay, let's get this one on the mannequin too. So this really does seem to be a necklace box. It's not how they advertised it, but it's kind of how it's turning out. Okay, <clears throat> so look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. So pretty. And then here they have a cute little bow before it just comes into that pendants, that little drop pendant. Okay, all the, um, all the rhinestones are there. Yep, nothing's missing. I don't see any maker's mark, but it definitely looks to be in nice condition. The chain is kind of a gunmetal, gunmetal chain. And the drop on this is, well, including the, ex the well, I don't even know if you'd call it an extender, but let's just include it nine and a half inches. 
So if anybody would like this, that will be $6. $6 for that one. Okay, let's see what this one is. Is this all together? Two different ones, two different ones. And an earring. Okay, so we have an earring. Hopefully we'll find, hopefully we'll find the mate to that. Oh, this is pretty. There's some pretty necklaces in this box. Look at this one. So then it comes down to, oh, but look, this broke. Oh no. I didn't even notice when I first put it on. I thought one was shorter and one was longer for some reason, but that's broken. So let me put that aside and see if we find that broken piece. All right, so here we have a faux turquoise necklace. Now let's just put it on the mannequin. I think it'll be easier. Okay, I like this. Look at how nice that looks. I think that would look spectacular just with a black blouse like that it would just pop off that black color so it looks really nice the chain <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> i still have this little i think it's just like allergies or something um the chain is in great condition it's like faux leather and then we do have, it looks like we do have a maker's mark here. Let's see what this says. Is that a J. Crew? Yep, that's a J. Crew. So, really, really pretty J. Crew necklace. Let's see what the drop is. Nine inches, nine inch drop, J. Crew necklace. Um, anybody wants this? This will be. Oops. <laughs> All right, this will be seven dollars. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have this. It's not quite coins, but it, you know, it, it kind of has that idea, like you see a lot of coin necklaces. It's really long. It is spectacular on. Look at that. And I'm sure you could double that up if you wanted to, but I don't know. I would just leave it like that. But I bet it looks great doubled up. Let's see. You know what? It looks pretty great doubled up, except I've got it twisted. <laughs> I've got it twisted around. Okay, let's take a peek. I think you get the idea. So I think that looks really nice either way. And let's see what the drop on this is. The drop on this is, now including the extender, it's 18 inches. Okay, and we have, it's a Chico's. Okay, so this is a Chico's. We're getting some nice name brands here. There's, I wouldn't call it wear. I think it's just the way it's supposed to look. It's kind of got that antique gold appearance. So these coins are in excellent condition. I don't see where, this is great. If anybody would like this Chico's necklace, that'll be $8, $8 for the Chico's. Okay, then we have a necklace that's a pendant on Looks like a, a faux leather, faux leather uh, chain. And let's see what this says. I'm not familiar with that, guys. If you know what that is, please let me know. 
looks like an M E me I think that's what that says so like a little bit of tarnish on that and a little bit of tarnish on the but it looks like you know like silver does when it tarnishes so it's not magnetic what about here is this magnetic well this is the chain is oh, let's see oh this is not that's not but that doesn't necessarily mean anything um i don't think that's silver let's just see how it scratches you can sometimes tell yeah no that's not silver you can see the copper and then I'm going to put this on my smaller mannequin so you can see. So really pretty, simple pendant necklace. Let's see what the drop on this is. Um, we're going to call it a seven inch drop plus the extender. So if anybody would like this, $4. Just because there's that little bit of... Uh, of tarnish going on. Okay, let's see what we have here. The other nice thing about this box is it's not very tangled. And I'm super happy about that. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how this one falls. Okay, we have another really long necklace. And it's got just a variety of silver and gold and kind of smoky colored stones. So just like that, really pretty. It's probably got a 30, let's see, I don't know. Let's see how much the drop is. Um, I would say 17 inch drop. These are plastic beads, so they are lightweight. Let's see, any maker's mark? No maker's mark. They need a cleaning. They need a little wash. They're a little bit dirty. Um, but if anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $4. $4 for that one. Okay, let's see what we have here. All right, we have, I hope all these stones are here. Oh my, this is gorgeous. Let's see, let's lay this out. It's a little, being a little stubborn here. Why is this being stubborn? Oh, well, now the other side's being stubborn. Let's see, maybe if I just hold it up. No. All right, let's see. Huh. Oh, this one relaxed. Okay, come on. Let's relax on this side too. I shouldn't make things that are so tight. Let's take a look at this. No maker's mark. It's like in brand new condition. I don't see anywhere. Oh, wow. Okay, let me pause the camera for a second. Okay, guys, so I got it to lay flat. It actually wasn't that hard. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess I just needed to not focus on the camera when I was doing it. Look at how stunning this is just gorgeous gorgeous crystals rhinestones i'm not sure but just so pretty so pretty and i think you know when you say statement necklace this is a statement necklace so let's see what the drop is we're going to include the extender it's nine inches 
So if anyone wants this gorgeous necklace, that'll be $8. $8 for that statement necklace. Okay. We have another gold tone. Gold tone in great shape. Necklace. I don't see a maker's mark. Let's put this on the mannequin. Again, I'm not spending a lot of time getting it to lay perfectly, but there's four strands. Really pretty. No wear. Just in great shape. It has a fold over, fold over clasp. If anybody wants, oh, let me give you the drop on this. So the drop on this is, um, 10 inches, 10 inch drop. So if anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $6. Okay, now we have another gold tone necklace with kind of a coin idea, but these look a lot more like coins. Do the coins say anything? Or are they just kind of teasing you to look like they say something? Not sure. Okay, let me find the back to this. Here we go. Wow. Wow, this is something. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Again, I could spend a little more time letting that lay a little nicer, but I think you get the idea. There are... These are large strands. This is heavy, this is heavy. And each side has one, two, three, four, five large strands. And so you get a better idea of the coins. And I think I saw large lobster clasps. Again, it's sort of got this antique gold finish. This is another Chico's. Wow, this is like a designer box, and that is not how they advertise this, so that's really nice. So if anybody would like this Chico's, I'm going to have to go $12 on this Chico's. Everything is, if it's under a pound, everything is $5 shipping, first class, uh, U.S. shipping. I do combine shipping. Now, if it's over a pound, then it will be a little more, and we'll have to calculate that based on the actual weight and the distance that it's going to travel. Okay, what does this say? Oh, the Sarah Coventry. Okay, so this is a Sarah Coventry necklace. It's silver tone. Really pretty, simple, elegant, really nice look. This is probably like a 17 inch drop, let's see. I am so happy with this box. It's like a 18 inch drop. So really pretty, Sarah Coventry, it's lightweight. It's not heavy, um, silver tone necklace in great shape i don't really see anywhere maybe just the tiniest bit here um by the class but even that i'm not i'm not so sure the chain is in perfect condition so if anybody would like this four dollars four dollars for that necklace and of course everything is uh, the price and then the additional shipping of five dollars so if you want an item please email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com give me the date of the video 
and then the timestamp and a brief description of the item. And then we'll take it from there. So this is really kind of amazing. And the camera is not doing this justice at all. Um, okay, so this is braided, but these beads are all metal beads. They're not plastic. And I, I have to say for myself, this is my favorite piece so far. There's just a quality about it that's, that, that really is, it's nicely, nicely done. I don't see a maker's mark. Let's see what the drop is um, up to the knot. The drop is 12 inches up to the knot. And then the tassel, then you have the knot, and then the tassel is like another eight and a half inches. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. If anybody would like this braided necklace, that'll be $8. Really, really stunning necklace. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what else we have. I was not expecting such beautiful pieces of jewelry in this box. Okay, so we have another really pretty piece. So we've got smoky beads and then kind of rose colored beads, but they're also kind of a smoky rose. I don't know how else to describe it. And then we have faux pearls. Okay, this is an Ann Taylor loft. Oh, this has to be doubled up actually. It won't fit on my large mannequin. All right, let's see. So again, I, I'm not so good at putting these on the mannequin. I am learning, uh, at least not quickly. It doesn't look nearly as good on my mannequin as it looks in person. Because when you look at the actual beads, they're, they're gorgeous. Okay, so let's see what the drop is. And to make my measuring easy, I'm gonna go in fourth. Okay. So it's 14 and a half inches. So 14 and a half times four will give you the total length. 58 inches. So 58 inches. If anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $5. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see what else we have here. All right, we have another multi-strand necklace. Let me see if I can find the clasp. I seem to do better in figuring out how it lays. All right, so it's a little tangled. Okay, that turned out pretty good. <clears throat> All right, so here is that necklace. Lots of strands. Kind of a muted, antique feel to it. The beads are pretty. They kind of, like I said, it has this antique Antiquey look, antiquey feel. Um, let's see what the drop is to the shortest strand. The drop is 13 inches, not including a long extender. So the extender would add another four inches. So if anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $5. Okay. 
Ooh, this is pretty too. Okay, we have a shorter necklace. <laughs> They've all been kind of long lately. Um, but this one is shorter. Again, I don't see a maker's mark. It's in like new condition. The drop is about seven and a half inches. Really, really pretty pendant. All the stones are there. Let's see what it looks like on the mannequin. All right, so I'm kind of glad we did this because you can see how one side is this large open link chain and then the other side is sort of two strands of a rope chain. Pendant is gorgeous. So if anybody would like this, that'll be $6. All right, <clears throat> this is a shorter necklace. It has uh, it's a copper tone. Copper tone sounds like the uh, oh sounds like the old um, suntan lotion company. Are they still in business? Let's see, it looks like this is maybe maybe separated. I don't know yet. Where's the clasp? Here's the clasp. No, that's how that's supposed to be. All right, so what we have, all right, is like that. And again, I've got, I'm so bad at <laughs> straightening those out quickly, but these just hang on the side. And we have, let me give you a closer look at the beads. So we have these light green, Pale beads, these kind of wannabe ivory beads, and then these clear, ever so slightly green, green beads. And then right where these strands sort of branch off, we have these pretty links. Okay, so let's see what the drop is. The drop is 12 and a quarter. This is a 1928. 1928. So if anybody would like this pretty necklace, that'll be $6. Okay. We have, all right, pretty beads, kind of a chunky necklace. The beads appear to be plastic. It's, it's got some weight to it, but it's not super heavy. I think that's plastic. But they're pretty and they're all kind of different this one might be tiger's eye i've got a wood one a metal one another tiger's eye and this is kind of a bronze chain lobster class oh and it also has a designer mark okay that's a premier design So this is got a 14 inch drop without the extender or just where it's clasped. And so right now that extender is seven inches. So if anybody would like this premier design necklace, that is $7. All right, let's see what else. Ooh. This is pretty. It reminds me of that other one that I like so much. Same idea, but different type of materials. 
So we've kind of got these woven metal strands. And then we have a knot and then we have a, a tassel. And the strands are rose gold and gold and is that silver tone? Let me take it off of the bright light. I think that's, oh gosh, it's hard to tell. I want to say this is a, a, a deeper gold and this is a lighter gold more than it is silver, but it might be silver tone. Little hard to tell. Really, really pretty. Very well made. It just goes over the head. There's no clasp in back. Gosh, I don't know if these others are throwing me off. I think that might be silver tone. You know, when you have them all together, sometimes, sometimes your eyes don't react to the color as if one was sitting there all by itself. Okay, so the drop on this to the knot is 14 inches. And then the tassel is six inches so if anybody would like this necklace this will be eight dollars that's really beautifully made beautifully made okay then we have a small little delicate leaf necklace does this have any kind of designer designer mark on it Looks like it might be Avon. Yep, that's Avon. All right, let's measure this out. This has a eight inch drop. So if anybody would like this pretty little Avon necklace, that'll be $4. Okay, then we have a fleur-de-lis pendant, a faux, faux turquoise, hefty chain. There is a little bit of tarnish on the back of this pendant, but it's a really beautiful pendant from the front. From the front, it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And the drop on this, including the extender, is 10 inches. There is some tarnish on the chain too. Now that I look at it closer. So because of that, because the chain isn't perfect and there is some tarnish up here and on the back, um, this will be just $3 because uh, you could replace the chain and the, I think the pendant is, is gorgeous. And you can't really see the area that's a little tarnished. It's, it's completely in back. Okay. No maker's mark. All right, so $3 for that. And then we have... Let's see. Oh, this is, is this broken or is this just for craft for the beads? Well, I'm going to sell it for a dollar just for the beads because it's broken. These are plastic beads. Okay, we have, we have a random earring. I hope we find the pairs to these few earrings. So what's going on here? Do we lose something here? Something isn't right here. Okay. So if anybody wants this just for the beads, black beads, plastic, a dollar. 
Yeah, I think that one, there's some loose beads in the bag. All right, and then we have, what does this say? Another Premier Design. It sort of has this antique silver bronze look to it. The drop is seven inches without the extender. I'm gonna put this on my smaller mannequin. So that's how that would look. I think that's really pretty. So if anybody would like this Premier Design necklace, that'll be $6. All right, and here we have a little tangle. Huh. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we got somebody's hair here too. Let me put that back in the bag. And then I'm going to pack this back up in a different bag. I, I don't like hair when I see hair on this. All right. This looks nice. This kind of makes me think it's a little better than costume jewelry. Let's see if I can do this relatively quickly. So guys, if you like this channel, you like the kind of videos I do, please consider subscribing. It, it really helps the channel tremendously. Um, I started this channel a couple months ago and it's growing slow but steady. And I really enjoy doing these videos. And I do resell my stuff here on YouTube as, as you can see in this video. And then I do sell uh, on my eBay shop. Uh, I've been doing eBay for a much longer time, on and off through the years. Um, my eBay channel is Opportunity Thrift. And then I decided to start, start this YouTube channel and I've been having a lot of fun. So let's see what this is. This has my curiosity going. Does this have any any marks, anything. Let me get my loop. Let's see. I see something on that, on that ring class. And it says 120th, 14 karat, 14 karat. I think it's probably gold. Let's see if it's gold filled or Oh my goodness. It's so hard to see even with the loop. Oh my. Let's see. Let me give it one more shot here. 120th, 14 carats, and then it smudges. It, it really does smudges. So I want to say it's gold filled. All right, and then this. I have my Prezi out, and let's see if any of this tests for anything. All right, so this is probably a cubic zirconia, and then this little red one. is something. <laughs> Let's see, this little red one is let's see. Uh, 
Okay, let's try it again. Iolite, maybe? No, oh, wants to keep going up a little. Well, it's a semi-precious stone. How about that? So we have a semi-precious stone and we have a gold-filled necklace. Let me get you the drop on the necklace. So that's a nice find. So it's a nine inch drop on the chain. And then so you get a better idea on the pendant. It's heart shaped. It's got a little leaf. Really pretty. It's in great condition. I don't see any wear. So if anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $20. So I would say $20 for that little necklace. Very pretty. Okay, I'm down to the last few things in this box. Let's see what we have here. We have a really long, Kind of gold tone, pink, orange, gold tone necklace. Let's try to do it this way. Okay. And let's see. There is a little smudge here on one of these beads I just saw. What is this? is this? Is this a label? Yeah, that's some kind of label. All right. Otherwise, in good shape. Does it have any kind of maker's mark? No. It reminds me of like a Ann Taylor Loft type necklace that I would find there. Uh, great condition. If anybody would like this, that'll be $4. $4. All right, then we have a paparazzi, brand new earrings and necklace to match. It's really pretty. It's super shiny. I would say the drop is around seven and a half inches. So if anybody would like this paparazzi set, that'll be $4. All right, then we have, appears to be just a chain. Is this a broken chain? Yeah, we have a broken chain. It says something here. What does this say? adult jewels. I don't know. I'm going to just put that in, uh, in craft. Okay, then we have love and beloved. Okay, let's get this. Do we have two things here? Or just one? I think we have two. Okay, let's see. Yep, we have two. Okay. So let's look at this love. Oh, three. We have three things. Okay, love and beloved is all by itself. Okay, let's get this back together again. So just really pretty little necklace love and beloved it's very pretty it's in um brand new condition i don't see any damage the clasp looks good i don't see any maker's mark 
It has a almost an eight inch drop and then it has a three inch extender. So if anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $5. Okay, then we have, okay, let's see if this chain is in good shape. Yeah, it is. This has to go on my really large mannequin again. We have some long chains here. Okay. And here is the pendant. It seems okay. I don't see any missing parts. The drop in this chain is 16 inches. And it does have a little extender. So the extender is about two inches. If anybody would like this necklace, I'm trying to figure out what's in the center of the pendant. I think it's just a bead. I don't think it's semi-precious or anything like that. It almost looks like, um, like it wants to be like a yellow turquoise or something. So if anybody would like this necklace, that'll be $4. And then we have, what do we have? We have earrings that are like these artist paint palettes. David Howell and Company. Adult kit washes of watercolor on the small palette attest to its usage by a miniature portrait, portrait painter. Okay, does it say anything else? This comes in a box. Does the box say anything else? No, what's this say? These are not sterling. They're just enamel, but extremely pretty. And if you know an artist, this would make a perfect gift and Christmas is coming. So if anybody would like these earrings, new in box, they'll be $4. Okay, so we have that. And then what's left? We have a, looks like an artisan piece. I'm not sure, let's see if this is anything other than maybe glass. This is glass, so like a glass pendant, but it does have one side of it has a texture. I'm not sure if the camera's catching it. And then it's got a silver tone chain. The drop on this is 11 inches. So if anybody would like this, that'll be $3. Okay, then we have this pretty little necklace. Again, a long necklace. The beads are sort of these faceted white beads, but they're not a bright white. They're almost, oh, I don't know. They're almost like this Aurora Borealis look to them, but it's all in shades of ivory I would say on a gold tone chain I don't see anywhere it looks brand new including the extender the drop on this is 17 and a half inches so if anybody would like this necklace that'll be four dollars all right I just have a few more pieces 
we have silver tone tangled <laughs> ah but good not very tangled necklace by who is this by what is this avon this is an avon so let's see Just try to get it hooked here. No, oh, what's going on here? We've got a ring clasp and then we have a lobster clasp. That's a little odd. So I'm not sure what is happening here, why we have these two different clasps. And there is a little bit of wear to this, not much, but a little. I'm not thrilled with this necklace, so I'm gonna put it in craft for a dollar. If anybody wants this Avon necklace, craft for a dollar. Just not thrilled with it. Something about it just didn't look right. Okay, then we have this orange pendant necklace. Get that on the large mannequin. Gold tone chain. Okay. It's nice. This one is nice. It's cheerful. It has really pretty little rhinestones. Orange, yellow. Reminds me of the tropics. 15 inch drop. Gold tone. Great shape, no damage. If anybody would like this, this will be $3. It's plastic. All right, then we have, oh, then we have the one that broke. And this one, the tassel broke. And we never found the remaining tassel. So this is going to be a craft item for a dollar if anybody wants it just for the beads and the rondelles and you know a dollar dollar for craft and let's see if we have any mates do we not have the christmas earring mate no christmas earring mate oh that's really a shame okay we have these. Are they in good shape? A little bit of wear to the wires, but these are pretty. Uh, so a dollar because of the wear to the wires. This one does not have a mate. It's just too bad. And then no mate for these. All right, guys, so thank you for joining me. Um, again, if you like the channel, please subscribe and give me a like. It helps the channel tremendously. And um, if you want an item, just email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com. And shipping is $5, first class US, plus the cost of the item. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.